गुड मॉर्निंग एचओडी प्रोफेसर ए के चतुर्वेदी सर मैं सेमिनार गाइड डॉक्टर रजेश त्रिपाठी सर सेमिनार कोऑर्डिनेटर डीपी शर्मा सर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स एग्जामिनर्स एंड मैं बेच मैं एम शुभम सुमन पर्सनल मैं बीटेक फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग राजस्थान टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा राजस्थान मैं सेमिनार टॉपिक इज ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो व्हाट इज ट्रांसमिशन कार ट्रांसमिशन is one of the most important components of a vehicle it what moves the power through from the engine of the vehicle there are many types of transmission some are automatic while manual Aut- automation in car required the driver to more work for the vehicle to operate effectively it is a speed sending device installing the power train between the engine and the driving wheels it permits the engine to operate at higher speed and lower speeds when required there are many components in transmission system such as planetary gear sets hydraulic systems seals and gaskets torque converter governor and computer controls now now we will study these components in more detail Number one, planetary gear sets. These are sets of gear which are grouped like planets. The center gear is called as sun gear, and the other revolving gears are called planetary gears. The sun gear transmits torque to the planet gears, and these planet gears are closed with outermost ring gear, and on which there are teeths on inside surface. And the planet gear orbits around the sun gear mesh with the outer ring gear. These are various combinations between the sun gear, planet gear, and ring gear. One is fixed and two rotates, so that's how it works. Planetary gear are often used when space of and weight are in issue, but a large amount of speed reduction and torque is needed. For example, tractors, turbine engines, and electric screwdriver. This is the side view of the planetary gear. Touch. Clutch is a mechanical device that engages and disengages power transmission. In the simplest form, clutch converts and disconnects two rotating shaft, drive shaft or line shaft. And in the devices, one shaft is typically attached to engine and other to the power unit, while the output shaft, or other shaft, provides output power for the power. Transmission bands are steel bands that wrap around section of the gear train and connect to the housing. As the band tightens around the drum, transmission fluid is squeezed out in groove cut in the band surface. The band brings the drum to a stop for lift there, where the friction material on the inside surface of the band becomes warm. The gripping ability of and become indistinct. or a slow to occur resulting in a slipping sensation a torque converter is a type of fluid coupling that transfer rotating power from a prime mover like an ic engine to a rotating drive driven shaft in a vehicle an automatic transmission the torque converter converts the power source to the load the main characteristic of the torque converter is its ability to increase torque when the output rotational is so low that it allows the fluid coming of the curved vents of the turbine to be deflected of the stator while it is locked again against its one way clutch thus providing the equivalent of a reduction gear this is a feature beyond that of the simple fluid coupling which can be made rotational speed but does not multiply torque and thus reduce reduces power diagram of torque converter the hydraulic converter in automatic transmission gives the system of a smooth running which works under the basic of normal hydraulics this consists of a complex mesh and tubes that transmits the transmission fluid under the pressure of the torque converter and all other parts of the transmission present generation automation system is more complex and uh, are assisted with computerized electrical compu- components shift control general lubrication and transmission cooling are served by transmission fluid 
most of the components such as plus paper and bangs bangs are constantly lubricated in this fluid a wide array of sensor and modules control your transmission there are various sensors which control and helps the transmission system such as the mass air flow sensor measures air flow in the engine and uses the information to regulate air and fuel ratio and determine engine load the throttle positional position sensor measures throttle gas pedal position having an impact on engine performance the intake air temperature sensor measures the temperature of the air while it enters the intake of the engine it is used to control the air fuel mixture of the engine there are some non computerized transmission also like the commander uses centrifugal force to direct oil from the oil pump through the shift valve to the appropriate clutch and brake vent the vacuum modulator tells the transmission what kind of load is being put on it allowing the transmission to react with with the proper line pressure and shift point the throttle cable refers to a cable device that supplies heat throat heat throttle input to the transmission the cable detects gas pedal position by connecting to the gas pedal at one end and the other other transmission throttle valve are at other there are other components like seals and gasket there are some various type of automatic transmission system which are being used nowadays like automatic transmission system as the name suggest an atm or automatic transmission system prime prime function is to automate manual transmission which means the job of pressing the clutch and shifting gear by a stick no longer rest with a driver continuous variable transmission unlike a conventional automatic transmission system that control conventional automatic variable transmission does not make use of gears instead it has two pulleys whose diameter are variable and are connected by a belt, belt or a chain one is connected to the engine and the other end is linked to the wheels while the power is delivered the pulley are movable and as they come closer to the other and pull to the chain drive higher making the diameter of the pulley larger and vice versa the dual clutch transmission system sometimes they referred as two hazard twin clutch transmission is a type of multi speed drive vehicle transmission system that uses two separate clutches for odd and even gear sets the design is often similar similar to the separate manual transmission with respective clutches contained with one housing and working as one unit in car truck applications the dct function is an automatic transmission requiring no driver input to change gears so in order to keep the automatic mobile working the chain work of part repair is also necessary sometimes it just requires some oiling sometimes it requires placement and sometimes it requires complete overhauling questions and answers which is the best automatic car transmission go for dc it is costlier and higher end cars have it built is but it well worth if you grab a speed and smooth drives but with a bit of fuel efficiency sprinkled in if you wanna wanna go for efficiency choose cvt as it is it's more efficient with almost no delay in gear shift and less moving parts with almost no down the amt is a, a good choice and is easily available as more of the entry level cars have and uh, as cheaper compared to dct and cvt what are the next question yeah. what are the most common automatic transmission problems grinding and checking sign session in gear car not engage or respond when in gear makes noise while fuming or planning noise in natural smell like it's burning gear slipping low and leaking fluid 
चेक इंजन लाइट इज दोनों थैंक यू